Hello. Happy Monday to you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Happy Monday. We're doing our Taurus vibe check. Taurus vibe check. What's the pause down? What's happening? Taurus vibe check. Taurus vibe check. Taurus vibe check. One more time, please. Taurus vibe check. Thank you. Taurus come through. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Good morning. Good Monday morning. Queen of Cups. Judgment. There we are. The print, the Empress. The Empress. Nice. Um, in the middle of your reading is the Hermit card. Next to the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Hierophant. I, I'm right underneath the Empress. This is interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. And Ten of Wands, this time upright. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Taurus, you are always good for a surprise. So here we go. We're going to ask for clarification. We're going to ask, please, clarification. Clarification. Clarification, please. Clarification. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Clarification. Taurus, you're learning so much more. You're learning so much about yourself. Um, someone has has created stronger boundaries, and this has. Okay, I, I'm assuming you know about the law of attraction, so. Um, it's not so much that you have to withdraw your energy, but when you um, contain your energy, instead of um, bleeding through that boundary, when you contain that energy, it um, I honestly it creates a vacuum between you and whoever you're thinking of, but your person feels, um, let me give you a visual, a young couple, at, at like a state fair, something like that. And yes, they, they're both connected. It's not that, but, um, and this is just an example, so don't come for me. The, the young girl is like holding on to the fellow or, the, you know, whoever, this is just an example, holding on to the fellow and just, you know, um, like this. And, you know, it, it's in, it's nice, it's enjoyable, but after a while, it, 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 that constant contact loses its effect. Now, when um, she withdraws and, and creates a boundary, even when they touch hands, it's more electrical. It's more, it means more. So someone here has created new boundaries and the other person is feeling this. Of course, this is in 5D, and this is psychically. Um, those of you who understand that will understand that those of you don't, you just stay with us and, and um, take what um, resonates with you and let go of what doesn't resonate. But someone here has created boundaries. And this is very good. It is so good. I learned... I, 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 
I gleaned this energy from here. I'm not, I'm not waiting. I'm not, um, sending short messages or hello, happy little um, emojis. Mm -mm. It's, um, ah, ah, someone even has, um, set their social media to private. Interesting. And if you don't think the other person feels this, please think again. Even um, what you can do and what you can always do is send, send loving energy to them. They will feel that. But you must not glom onto them like that. Uh, release that, that burden release that burden it's going to as a good example look at the empress do you think she gloms onto the emperor no he would probably look at her like what is what's going on what what is what's what's the dealio why no this is the empress she doesn't glom onto anyone she and i'm not even sure what i mean by glom i mean just um drape she doesn't drape herself over anyone and i don't mean physically just even emotionally um the 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 vibe energy is just no i'm the empress i'm here people peel grapes and grapes and feed them to me on my chase lounge and the hierophant this is taurian energy you might be dealing with another taurus or you might be dealing with someone who um, is recognized for excellence in some manner. Either they're a celebrity, um, a creator, um, but they are someone who stands out in the crowd, even if it's quietly. This, is, this person um, carries with them the vibe of excellence. Other people look to them. All of this re- um, configuration of the energy it is so it's wise and it's so attractive it is so attractive um and it feels good not to let your energy bleed past those boundaries you're going to need that energy for when you know this wheel of, of fortune is turning Let's, let's do some clarification, but um, that is a very good way to set up the energy within this reading. Manifestation is the energy that frames, that informs this reading. So, calling back your energy? Uh, absolutely. Um, with creating those boundaries, um, Taurus, the Emperor, and the Empress. <laughs> Dignity and grace and having a strong backbone. This might be different from the um, connection. This might be different from the approach that some of you have had towards this connection. It's not that... Um, you're not turning cold. You're turning to you. You're the empress. Your backbone is straight. It's um, strong. Thank you. That's better. It, your, your backbone is strong. You're no longer here. You're no longer in the nine of swords energy. Um, some of you have shed quite a few tears over this connection. No, no, that's that's going to. Recall that. No more. No more. Strength. Resolve. Knowing what you know. You can't be moved. Yeah. Um, someone in this connection or an ancillary energy um, has been playing... I don't want to say it in a very um, belittling manner, but like mind games, a little bit of emotional 
um, manipulation, that's coming to an end. We're not doing that anymore. This is absolutely a tower event. This is absolutely a tower event. I don't know. I think it, something happened last night. Something happened last night. I really have the feeling that um, someone put their social media on private. Someone withdrew um, that open invitation. Now it's by invitation only. I love it. Someone withdrew that open invitation. Now it's by invitation only. I'm sorry I repeated myself. I needed to. This is strong stuff, my friends. Um, so <laughs> it's not that there's not a celebratory mood. It's more here. We're more here. It's no longer, um, gee, let's have some fun with this connection. Now it's, you know, let's, let's find out what this is about. Let's have um, a realistic view. Um, no, you're not being gaslit. No, this is not in your mind. But I need it to be, I, I need to get your attention and your affection. I need the Six of Pentacles upright. So the Six of Pentacles is here, but it's in reverse. Meaning things have not been fair. Your attention and affection has not been reciprocated. It's not been fair. What next? Yeah, someone wants to say, hey, are you still interested? I, I see that you put your um, social media on private. And hey, I was wondering, you know, okay, Someone, um, Taurus, someone who is interested in you has a couple of fake accounts. Um, <laughs> just in case you ever put your account on private. Um, wow, that's a little bit um, nervy and what, <laughs> a little bit... Um, What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Why would they do that? They just want to make sure that um, in case you put your your um, page on private, that they still have a way to to watch what's going on. Whoa, Hierophant. Okay, Hierophant. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, the pre-Empress card. The, the card with the energy of increase. So as much attention as someone has been getting, it's increasing. As much um, wisdom, knowledge, success, it's increasing. Someone has been working hard and um, I, I still get that celebrity vibe. If not celebrity, like in the, in the, the idea of on ETV, it's a niche, um, a unique um, fan base, or even a, a small community recognition of this person is very good at this. <sighs> so much so that even when they're offered uh, more, they're offered more, um, they're like, no, my plate is full. My plate is full. Thank you very much. A new world is turning. Thank you, Tower Card, for being here. Without, without the, the pain of the Tower Card, you can't have a new world coming in. Mano, Mano Shevitz. Please understand this is this is so strong. This this energy is so strong. Um, it, it, this is it's a difficult read um, physically to go through because this energy is so strong. Oh my gosh, Queen of Cups! Thank you that she's here. She is the emotional regulator. Uh, she helps 
she helps bring the emotions from whipping around above our heads into um, a type of uh, 3D realization. How does she do that? Well, she contains it in that beautiful chalice on her lap. And do you see the, the concentration it takes to do that? Just very grateful for her. Knight of Swords. Well, someone would love to say something, but they don't know how and they're not very good with words. Uh, Two of Pentacles, back to the work. Um, not here, Six of Pentacles. Someone has been doing, a. someone has had a lot on their plate regarding work and they have uh, you on their mind and in their focus. However, work is still here. It's not so much a juggling act as it is a balancing act. An act. Ah, Queen of Pentacles, thank you. She's the mama bear. Um, it might have been her voice, her intuition that kind of whispered in your ear, you're the empress. Um, don't let anyone make you feel any kind of way. The Queen of Pentacles is here to remind you that you're the empress. And she's here, she's protecting your, your idea of, of your value. Can you say that better? She's here to remind you of your worth. It's so important. It's so important, especially in the um, vi volatility of this tower event. Hermit mode. Take some time this week to go into hermit mode, if not at least the Four of Swords energy to um, think to think about your hopes, dreams, and goals. If you can, sometimes I write things down and uh, putting it on paper sometimes helps me. Discover more. It, it, the energy has been stagnant in this um, connection on one end, but the other end also has to continuously um, improve push and improve on their self self their concept of self thank you oh, two cards came out i'm sorry yeah page of swords your person has been and will continue to keep an eye on you um teamwork it's going to take teamwork for this connection to um There's ancillary energy. There absolutely is. And someone who has once been um, muddying up this connection is now seeing the pain that one person is in and is going to help instead of hinder. They're going to help make, a, make this connection meet, finally. Death. Death and what? Rebirth. You can't have a new world without death and rebirth. Um, please take this great energy to consider those things that you are willing to let go of. Um, any kind of feelings of doubt, um, low self-esteem, any kind of feelings of not being worthy, check them. Make sure that you, um, you're in charge of your emotions. Your emotions are not in charge of you. It's so important, especially as you continue to utilize your manifestation. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You felt that last night. Communication is, <laughs> it's on its way. But, um, okay, and the, the Page of Swords. Um, I'll tell you again, this person is not really good with communication. They're going to say things very kind of short and pointed. And actually, when they're asking you questions, it's going to almost seem invasive. Like, um, where were you? What did you do? What do you, you know, very short questions that are very direct. Um, 
No one likes to be, you know, like they're being inquisitive, you know, grand inquisitor as, as a connection. However, um, I, you're, someone here is not really good with their, with their communication. Ace of Pentacles. There's three of Pentacles. Ancillary energy helping this connection. This could be someone from the other side of the veil. This could be someone from the other side of the veil. A grandmother, a motherly type, or I just feel very loving, maternal, um, that unconditional love is going to help. Uh, seven of Pentacles, but this time in reverse. Looking at everything that has been, all the energy expended on um, bringing something to fruition and, and seeing and just thinking, is that all there is, Peggy Lee? Is that all there is? Um, for all of this energy, I expected more. I expected more. And I'm not talking about the connection. I'm talking about um, someone who has um, almost like taken care of something like a garden. Um, not specifically a physical garden, but a garden of going going deep inside and and what someone has been working on themselves. Again, this this hermit energy is so important. Find out what it is that makes you feel small. And if it's a person, cut them or, you know, keep, the, keep yourself safe from their energy. Especially during this manifestation time. Judgment? No, this is not second or third chances. In this reading, it is love ascension. It is a love energy that is, it's ascending. It's, it's, it's to the second, to the third power, to the tenth power. Because you're the two of cups. Oh, great oogly boogly. Yeah, someone has been working very hard from the Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles. And because you're the lovers, I just can't. I just can't. Going from a Love Ascension to the Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles to the lovers. And if this doesn't demonstrate how much work this connection has been, I don't know what will. Nine of Swords in reverse. No more. No more. Gotta let this burden down. No more feelings of small because this is going to be so... Okay, I'm hearing the word power couple. The words power couple. This is community recognition of success. No more um, sleepless or crying. No more in your head. Eight of Swords, from the Eight of Swords in reverse to the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is someone who is shoulda, woulda, coulda. No, no more, because we have community success. Recognition. One more. Oh, to the Four of Wands. Eight of, Six of Wands to the Four of Wands. And eight of Wands right here. All this fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another Taurus. I also feel Virgo, Capricorn. Someone has been building, they might, someone has been looking for a new place to live or has bought a new home or is looking for a new apartment. This is in preparation and anticipation of a power couple. Someone is still carrying burdens around that is going to go into reverse. You're going to let that burden, because the hopes, dreams, wishes are being manifested. Ten of Cups. To the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. 
it's been a burden. We can't we can't dress this up any and, and make it look nice. This is a roller coaster. Very high highs, very low lows, and a lot of screaming memes, a lot of twists and turns, and unpleasant surprises. But this is the Aquarius card, the beautiful star card of hopes, wishes, and dreams with the manifestation to the Ten of Cups with a happy home, happy couple. Nine of Cups, a recognition that this is a wish fulfillment. Taurus, Taurus, what a read. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Why? Because someone has realized their worth and they are creating those boundaries. If you want to take a picture of this, I'm going to move this for a second. Do you have time for a, a couple? I want to pull a couple of message cards. If you have a second, if not, I understand. Please, messages. I know this person has trouble with communication. Can you help a little bit, please? Please, and thank you. Sure do need your help. I need your support. Come on, help me, please. One more? Yes. Divide it, mind, body, and spirit. Okay, come through. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Can't be denied. Yes, there is. Put that right here in between the emperor and the empress. Love yourself first. Thank you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I'm putting that right here by Virgo, the hermit energy, to remind everyone how important it is to go within and make sure that your needs are being met first. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Absolutely. I'm put this right by the Nine of Pentacles and the world. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. You surely have. Don't call me Shirley. This is in between Two of Cups and the Lovers. Soulmate. We're stopping right here. Yes, this is your soulmate. I would like to just hand this to you through the computer screen. It goes in the middle of your reading. This is incredible. I have no words. What a way to start a Monday. And it all started last night with an energy shift. Okay, Taurus. Um, thank you for your, your support. Your support allows me to keep the channel going. And um, please take good care of yourselves. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.